Sometimes unpacking CPU utilization takes a little bit of investigation. We'll walk you through a variety of techniques to troubleshoot CPU utilization on Cisco small business switches in this edition of Tech Talks, next. In addition to the end user traffic handling and the management interface, the small business switches CPU handles management, protocol, and snooping traffic. Because excessive traffic strains the CPU and might prevent normal device operation, Secure Core Technology, or SCT, is used. This ensures the device receives and processes management and protocol traffic, no matter how much traffic is received. SCT is enabled by default on the device on our small business switches and can't be disabled. On the graphical user interface of the switch, we can see the CPU utilization under the status and statistics menu. That's where we can check to see if the CPU utilization is enabled. Our refresh rate will show us the CPU utilization over the according time interval. On the CLI interface, we can type the command under privileged exec mode, show CPU utilization, to see the output for CPU in quantities of five seconds, one minute, and five minutes. Unfortunately, there are several reasons that our CPU utilization may be high. One of the commands we might use to troubleshoot problems is search for the MAC address table. If several unknown MAC addresses are learning, then we may need to verify whether or not these entries are valid. We can remove the unnecessary MAC addresses to reduce CPU utilization. We might also find that there are free spaces available to handle the additional MAC address. When troubleshooting CPU utilization issues, another element to check for is the ARP entries. After typing show ARP, we can see all the ARP entries and determine if they are valid or not. If the TCAM utilization is high, we can reduce some of the access list on the switch. We can reach the access list under the IP configuration menu. If we see many access lists being used, we can try and reduce those not in use. This may help reduce the CPU utilization. If we're not using a specific service, it may be smart to disable it in order to reduce the CPU utilization. Services like SNMP, HTTP under the Security tab, and Bonjour under the Administrations tab can be disabled if we're not using them. The CPU time utilized by spanning tree varies depending on the number of spanning tree instances and the number of active interfaces. The more instances and the more active interfaces, the greater the CPU utilization. And that's a starter guide to troubleshooting CPU utilization issues. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.